So this is the Howard 200 uh, wheel drive gearbox. I'm trying to take it apart carefully. Oh, it's been somewhere. I don't want to wreck the gasket. I don't want to wreck it at all. I think I need. Do I? No, I think I might get it out now. There we go. Oh, look at this. Oh, I've got a bit of sauce coming out as well. Right, there's the gearbox that isn't quite working. Look at that. I really think these machines are beautiful. Inside, there's some really fancy uh, cut gears and stuff like that. Come on off the little gasket. I'd like to save you, even if it's just for a pattern. There we go. Yeah, might get to save that. Okay, still a load of soup in there. I thought I had drained this out, but obviously, obviously I haven't. I'm not sure how this mechanism works. On this side over here, I think I've got a clutch, some kind of a clutch. And uh, let's get some kind of a something to help this along. Get a look in here. So there's your driving up on top over here. Just that little tiny worm drives it all. I thought about taking this apart, but I don't know that I need to now. Um, the oil seals seem okay on each side. Now why is that not turning? You see, this is, this is the issue, so maybe that one needs to come off. There's an oil seal, probably a rubber thing in underneath. That one does feel a bit stiff. I'll put a drop of this horrible stuff on it. It might just help free something up. It was turning before, so if I can get a spanner on there. Maybe we can have a look at it. No, not that way. When there was wheels on it, it was turning, but actually I don't know if it was turning or if it was just kind of bouncing with the wheel. So that looks to be maybe aluminium. And it does look to have a bit of wear around those holes from engaging and disengaging. But if it isn't turning at all, well then there's an issue there, so I have to deal with that. That's okay. Set that aside and let's have a look at this one. Cast iron housing. Bit of dirt there, just want to get off. Okay, there's a dog there. So you can have, let's see which way was it? Like this, I think. You could have two wheels, one wheel. Maybe that was, maybe that was, let's see. I think that was gears off. I think this was one. That's two, is it? Okay, so that rotates like that separately. So that's spinning all the time. And then you put on one gear. And when this engages, It'll go in through one set of holes, and then if you go the second way, it goes the whole way across. Quite simple, quite complicated, <laughs> quite a quite a snazzy gearbox. Look for a little rag because I'd like to clean all this. It's probably some kind of hypoi or some other kind of gear oil here. Clean that off. Bit of chatter on the original cutting marks there when that was made. Yeah, this is quite a neat little gearbox. So I want to make a kind of a miniature pedestrian tractor thing. I've got some wheels, I've got some bits and bobs for it. That does seem to be working okay, so. Out completely. In a bit goes to there. It doesn't seem to really have this half thing. I don't know what keeps it half turned and then it has full over so it's half is there and full goes the whole way out. This plate here 
I presume it's steel, is driving this hub over here. The other plate on the other side in here in this gearbox is driving the other side. The right hand wheel. And you engage with these little dogs. So this brass um, worm gear. It's not the worm. I don't know. It's, a, it's one half of the worm gear. Drives the left hand side in here. And there's a spring loaded clutch in there. I don't know how you'd get that apart other than pushing this one through and out. And I might take this apart to clean it up because my issue, the reason I've started on this is because this is completely eaten by rust and I think a new shaft there would be in order but it's not broken so it's just that it's very, it's gone down to about half its or less than half its thickness there. You can see massive pock marks on it. That's pretty neat. I'm kind of kind of pleased with this. Got in there without without causing a load of chaos this time, as I have done in the past on the rest of this little 200 Howard. See, I think that's how it works. Uh, so it's disengaged, and this just spins on its own. Engage one wheel, left hand wheel, like that, and that would turn if I could. Why would it not turn now? If I'm holding it there, this should turn. Maybe it's got a lot of friction in here. I suspect that's what's going on actually. And then if it comes the whole way across, these pins come out and grab the other wheel as well. So that's your clutch on a Howard 200. Questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching, see you later.